All right, uh, we're back at Paralenzi Polis 2018. Uh, a little bit of technical difficulties there, but we're back. We're um, hackers, so we can be without them. That's right. We just <laughs> adapt, right? You have to be adaptable. That's the main thing. So, Martin, you were talking about you were an art collective, and you started out at Paralenzi Polis. Yeah, it's uh, the fifth uh, congress we, we, we are going. Uh, we are starting now. So it's been four years ago when we when we launched this project, and uh, as I said, it started up as. Uh, as kind of a social experiment, and uh, after after these four years of full fat <laughs> running of a nonprofit organization that uh, has a couple of uh, interesting obstacles in the genes of the mm. organization. One of it is that we accept only cryptocurrencies for anything we do. Another one is that we, from the very beginning, refused any public subsidies for mm. our running, uh, which is uh, very unusual in our uh, country. Mm -hmm. uh, so w at the very beginning, we put a lot of obstacles uh, in our path, but we are still here. And even though it was not easy, uh, I think and I hope we are doing something for uh, spreading crypto technologies and awareness about it. And of course, this is now the fifth uh, Hackers Congress, and I'm sure that you've learned quite a lot over these years. And now for having the fifth one, what, what are the events or what are the things that you really are looking forward to over the next coming days? Mm -hmm. uh, so from if I take a look at the formal stuff, uh, I'm really interested how this YouTube studio that is now is the first mm -hmm. streaming of it, grand opening uh, how this will work and uh, this is our new strategy of communication because we uh, we try to adapt to new expectations <laughs> and, and new forms and uh, so we, we decided that uh, we're gonna push more and more uh, video content not only records of uh, our uh, lessons and presentations mm -hmm. and workshops that we do here but also this kind of interviews mm -hmm. and so on. Interview um, uh, in, in very basics is some confrontation of different opinions mm -hmm. and this is I think the main leitmotiv of, uh, of this year that, we, that we've uh, uh, lived and also it's uh, very important for this, uh, for this congress. Uh, we we have uh, scheduled more uh, more panel discussions this year, mm -hmm. and we try to uh, bring uh, speakers with different backgrounds, uh, not not only uh, like this uh, expectable uh, pro free economy and so on view, but we we also try to bring different views um, and different. Um, kinds of pers uh, how people perceive mm -hmm. uh, these crypto technologies and we want to show that uh, crypto anarchy as a term or a name for environment on the internet that already exists is something that is open to anyone and we can uh, figure out how the, these technologies, these crypto technologies can be used in different ways and for different purposes. Um, what is connecting them is uh, some attempt to liberate uh, people and their activities, and this is something that connects um, us here. Well, I'm, I'm definitely a big fan of interviews. I know when I'm watching a presentation, I'm often sitting in the audience trying to ask questions, uh, but I can't. Uh, so this is a great time for myself and the audience to ask questions. It's also great to be on YouTube, which I really think is one of the big futures of interactive media, things like YouTube and podcasts, much more direct, much less corporate interference. And you know, if you have a camera and some live streaming gear and a lot of technical knowledge, you can do whatever you want on YouTube. And there really are no barriers uh, except for the occasional ups and downs with the technical difficulties. Uh, how about naked bodies? Did you tr did you try it? Do they shut it down or does? It oh, I, I think YouTube. Uh, they're still a little uptight about the naked bodies. You show them maybe a piece of artwork or something with a beautiful oil painting, and they're like, "No, no, no! The naked human form scares us." But so that's what, something what if, different about if, America what if we, versus Europe. What if we Europe. started to fuck here? Uh, how how long time does it take to YouTube to shut it down? Oh, I, I'm <laughs> sure there's a guy out there with a 
sensor budding, wait, waiting to push, waiting to push. Okay. But uh, they probably get to it later. Uh, that's a great thing about live streaming. A lot of things can just get out all of a sudden. And uh, I've heard next year that you're going to require no clothes at all at the conference. <laughs> We're going to wear kind of plastic suits uh, so that we can make sure that no one has any hidden recording devices. Uh, but, of course, people out there are already working their way around that. They've got great places to hide them. So. Okay. Well, Martin, we know that you're really, really busy, and he is going to be on stage starting the HCPP <laughs> Summit in just a few minutes. Uh, they so are, yeah, they are calling me now. Oh, yeah, they're calling <laughs> they're, him now. They're so, calling him so. now. So thank you, Martin, and uh, we hope to see you again soon. So bye thanks. Bye-bye, Martin. And uh, send us someone else in. Send us another guy in here, uh, even anybody. So uh, this is it. We're live. It's going to be like this. It's going to be kind of uh, in between parts, other parts like this. It's not all going to be perfect and professional. Um, but this is what we're doing to try to bring you this live stream. Uh, the idea, of course, is this is Johnny Carson's classic couch. Everyone out there, who is Johnny Carson, blah, 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 will look it up. And he had a couch. And what he would do is he would bring on more and more guests because you probably don't know, but The Tonight Show used to be about two hours long. And Johnny wouldn't just fill that all with monologue and sketches. He would mainly fill it with guests. And our goal here with the long couch is to bring in not only one at a time interviews, but maybe even some large couch features where we can get two or three people on this small couch. And uh, hopefully, uh, like the previous guest, he won't, he won't say that we should all fuck. But we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Uh, we're open for anything. We did get a fascinating gift from the conference this morning. I'll see if I have mine here. Uh, it exactly, says, right? it says uh, I don't know what this means, uh, Vege Ven, and then uh, Paralinzi Polis logo, and then there's a little uh, thing inside there. So, you know, uh, there's some optimism here. Uh, there's more safe, girls right? at this conference than usual. Uh, <laughs> it could always happen. Uh, but we're just keeping it live here on the World Crypto Network. Max, how has Prague been treating you so far? Well, first of all, Prague is a really beautiful, beautiful city. Uh, anywhere you go in the old town is a beautiful architecture and, and beautiful, uh, well, just beautiful feeling. Uh, it's a vibrant city, and you know, walking around with Thomas uh, last or yesterday was it was always fun, right? Uh, but then here specifically at the Parallelni Police, it uh, was amazing that uh, they are a true anarchist, true Bitcoin uh, place. You can only pay with Bitcoin, which I personally love, right? Uh, of course, it was a disaster last year when I spent about $60 on drinks. And then you guys all saw, after the effects of the MAD tour, the price went up. Uh, so again, you know where to think. And you know, guys, the MAD tour is uh, it, it's a fragile thing, right? And it needs your support. Uh, so if you do want uh, to keep Thomas here in Europe, which would be fantastic, oh, look right here. There's a little QR code. What does it do? It's a magic gateway that takes some of your Satoshis and gives it to Thomas. So he can pay for flights, uh, for Airbnbs, uh, and for well, food, right? And, and cameras and live streaming gear food for the people here, the crew, all of this comes from your donations. Also, special feature, we have a tallyco.in, that's tallycoin account right here, so it's supposed to beep. Uh, so you guys can try it out now, if you can get that QR code to scan, if you can get it to beep, send us a dollar, send us ten dollars, let's try this thing out, and uh, ideally, that thing will be beeping so much we'll have to turn it off. Uh, it's up to you to make that happen, uh, but we'll see how that goes. Otherwise. We're just going to stay live. We're going to be bringing people in and out of here. I saw a question in the chat. We are on about a minute and a half delay, uh, so please don't get upset if we don't answer your question immediately. But a uh, question in the chat, Paralinzi Polis is being live streamed this year. Last year, I think they recorded the conference, put it in the can, and you know how it is. Editing, formatting video, editing, format. Hey, oh, there was a beat. Tallycoin donation. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll figure out a way to check the amounts and such, but right now uh, it's just going to beep. Uh, so thank you again for testing it out uh, that we can scan the QR code. But uh, yes, all of the live streams, which last year they didn't have, this year they have. They're doing live editing with multi cameras and they're going to be putting it out live on the Paralensi Polis YouTube channel. Uh, we'll retreat that when they put it out on their social media. Yes. And uh, yeah, we're not involved in that. Uh, but we're glad to support them with these interviews. So right here, you're going to see the interviews, the interactive questions. Up there, you're going to see the prepared speeches and the slides. And uh, they've got a great system. They, I, they might even have one of those things where you can see the slides and they can cut back and forth. I know it's always hard to live stream these things myself because you have one camera and they're like, 
well, you can show the slides or you can show the guests or you can show a combination of the two and nothing really pleases anybody. So hopefully they've got that all set out. And uh, they have a lot of technical people, a lot of technical gear here. Uh, so I think it's going to be a great live stream. On oh, the and there's another, there's another one. another one. So, so. Uh, clearly, uh, DJ Booth in the chat was a bit worried if TallyCoin works, but it does. There it is. If you want to fundraise for your venture, whatever it is, you only need your Bitcoin address. Go to tallyco.in mm -hmm. and type in your address or copy and paste it, set the specific amount that you want to raise, maybe set a timer, and that's it. It is peer-to-peer -peer fundraising with this beautiful uh, kind of block explorer. It's, it's, a, it's a, a way to visualize uh, the fundraiser uh, with a nice beeping sounds. So first, thank you very much, DJ Booth, for programming it. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. You can support DJ Booth at DJ, uh, tallycoin slash DJ Booth 007 if you want to support an amazing service, right? Keep the service going. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. And remember, TallyCoin doesn't take any of your fundraising money. If you donate through YouTube Super Chat, we appreciate it a lot, but YouTube's got to make money. They take 30%. Uh, break your heart, I know. Uh, but TallyCoin, if you want to donate to TallyCoin, it's totally free. If you want to use TallyCoin, it's totally free. So it's just a great service by DJ Booth, who also created the Scam Clerk software at scamclerk.com. And uh, I've been talking to some people someday. I've got to get my website all fixed up and I have to do a software inspired by Mad Bitcoin section because we've done so much over the short amount of time. Uh, in the old days, we raised money for ProTip at protip.is. What ProTip does is it scans the web pages that you're reading for a Bitcoin QR code or for an address. Then it times how long you spend on the web pages. And at the end of the week, based upon your allowance, it donates to all of those people. It uses batching to save on transaction fees. Uh, if you'd like to make a lightning version of ProTip, the source code is right there at ProTip.is. And again, that was funded by the community. We raised about $15,000, not a lot for a software project. Other people raised millions. And we actually delivered the code is available, ProTip.is. You can also check out Mistos, uh, the amazing multi-signature wallet for organizations. If you work maybe with two or three people on a software project, he lives in Russia, you live in Germany, you know, it's hard to get together. And also, if you let the money go into one account, they could always take it from you. But you can create an easy to use multi-sig at mistos.io. It's a great software. It uses block stack in the background, uh, letting you log in with a uh, shared identity. And it also stores your data. Right now, it's in the block stack. Uh, cloud type system, but you could set it on Blockstack to store in any data repository or FTP site, something like that. Uh, it's a great service. And I did get to go to the Blockstack conference recently. It's pretty interesting. It was in London, and I, I did some tweets from there if you guys want to check it out on the Mad Bitcoins Twitter account. Uh, but we're looking for some more people to interview here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to send Max out and see if Max can come back with Crypto Raptor. So go ahead, Max, see if we can get Crypto Raptor, and he'll be right back. I will be back. <laughs> All right. And now I get to fill, so it's a great time to tell you about AgiLeak. Uh, Ryan, what's your website that we can tell people about? Oh, that's nice. oh, that's okay. We've got, we got him here, but we're going to tell you more. YouTube slash A, A D G Y in or out, uh, underscore leak. Um, and you can check that out. Ryan's doing all our live streaming today. And uh, he started out, he was broadcasting the Bitcoin meetup in San Francisco way back in 2012 and 13 and such. A great live streamer. Uh, we're going to have links to him on Twitter. And we really want to promote Ryan's work too because Ryan is volunteering his time uh, to get us live here. And if the video looks good, uh, it's Ryan. And of course also, <laughs> hey, Tally hey, Coy. And uh, you know, if the video looks bad, it's Ryan's fault too. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm throwing the buck on him. 